Hello, I'm Bookface. You know those characters that'll have like an ironic name, like some huge dude nicknamed Tiny? Or like from Looney Tunes where they had this giant monster looking guy named Gossamer? Uh, future me put up the definition of Gossamer. And also Looney Tunes, how Bugs Bunny called Elmer Fudd Nimrod as an insult. The reason that Nimrod was insulted because it was sarcastically relating him to a biblical great hunter. Ah, uh, what a great hunter you are, and now everyone just thinks Nimrod means stupid. <laughs> well, that's kind of the prompt to this video, because we're still talking about giant kaiju-sized creatures, but they're related to little fellas. Critters, as I called them in my labeling of this video. Actually, no, I called the- I called the <laughs> little- little peek behind the mi the mirror? The mustache. Curtain! Behind the curtain, I had this script labeled Kaiju Varmints. One slight issue I kind of ran into is that since they're giant versions of small animals, that could possibly imply that they're just, like, say, a giant rat. Sure, that could mean, like, a rat as big as a skyscraper destroying everything in its path. Or it could be a rat the size of a dog, even a cat, and that would still be considered a giant rat. So... Yeah, I'm pretty sure all of these are supposed to be giant giant, but uh, if not, my bad. <laughs> also, I remember I found some term that means smaller kaiju, like more realistically sized, but I can't remember what that term is, so yeah. And with that rambling that I'm gonna have to edit around a lot out of the way, let's jump right in. Woo! First up we have the Huspalim, which is a creature from Ethiopia resembling a giant marmot, which are these little squirrel looking dudes that only move around on the ground. This creature was recorded by Europeans during medieval times. Hmm. Okay, so not only is it medieval Europe, but it's also Europeans trying to describe something from Africa. Yeah, so basically uh, what I'm hearing is this is likely either a horse, rhino, or penguin. Put your guesses down in the comments. It had a very large round head, tiny round ears, a monkey-like face, round paws, and bald red spotted skin. You should you should get that checked out. That doesn't seem healthy. <laughs> Talk to your dermatologist. Huspa limbs. It was believed that they were supposedly kept in cages on the island of Zaka. Z Zakotara? Zakatera? Where they could serve as a good food source, but only if the meat was thoroughly beaten before it was actually cooked. So, remember, you can have a nice meal of Huspalim, but you just gotta beat your meat correctly. What? Next we have the Aniwai from Ojibwe myth. Resembled a giant skunk that ate people. And it had a spray that was so potent it could kill people. The fart of death. <laughs> It was also smart enough to underspit understand. It was also smart enough to understand human speech. I initially had trouble because I'm pretty sure my source said something like human language and I'm like, ah yes, that one good human language. It's not like humans have more than one language. That'd be ridiculous. <laughs> this creature was believed to be larger than a house and was also thought to be able to rip the roofs off of houses. Uh, that would be that would be very unfortunate just like, ooh, I don't like that. I should I should stay inside today, you know? I think I think staying in here will be <laughs> Well, that's just unfortunate now, isn't it? Well, lastly, we have the Pastanaka, one of my favorite names, and mm, I actually drew this one a good while back because I loved the details about it. It's just so simple and so stupid. <laughs> Now this creature was also from medieval belief, and it was thought to look like a weasel the size of an elephant. And this sort of goes back to my kind of kaiju size, but kind of not. I mean, elephants definitely are big, but I don't know if they're kaiju big. It's, it's a little tricky. And it smelled so terrible that the trees around it would die just from it being close. Who has the giant deodorant? We need it. We need it bad. Why do I just imagine that there were just a bunch of people in these olden times just walking out, smelling something real nasty and being like, Oh, what's that? And then running away and being like, Oh no, it was, it was a monster. Definitely didn't just get scared by a pile of crap on the side of the road. That would be embarrassing. I love the theory that 
a huge amount of myths that relate to natural phenomena aren't created to try to explain it, but rather to justify getting the crap scared out of you by something completely normal. And there we have three giant varmints. This was an interesting one. It was hard to collect all these, but they were fun to draw. I don't know, just drawing a bunch of little things and trying to make them look big is, first off, surprisingly tricky, but oddly satisfying. I have very weird artistic taste. I definitely intend on doing more of these kaiju videos. They're always fun. It's a nice theme to go on. If you like this video, please do a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe. If you have some other giant monsters and myth and folklore that you want me to try to work into a kaiju video, let me know. And I will see you next time. Bye!